Welcome back, truth seekers, to another mind-bending episode of Well, That's Interesting here on Quaver TV. Today, we're peeling back the layers of deception to reveal some truly eye-opening truths about our world. Let's start with the basics. The Bible paints a clear picture of our world, and it's vastly different from what we're told by the great deception known as NASA. Our scriptures describe a flat, stationary earth set on pillars, covered by a solid firmament. Psalm 104, 5 tells us, He set the earth on its foundations, it can never be moved. In Genesis 1, 6 to 7 speaks of the firmament dividing the waters above from the waters below. Now, here's where things get really interesting. NASA claims to have photos of a globe earth from space. But here's the shocking truth, there are no real photographs of the entire earth. What they show us are composites and computer animations. In this age of advanced technology, why no simple, straightforward photo of our supposed, blue marble? Let's talk numbers, because the connections here are truly startling. The supposed curvature of the Earth is said to be 8 inches per mile squared. If you multiply this out to the distance of the supposed moon, you get 666. That's right, the very number of the beast from Revelation 13:18. But it doesn't stop there. The supposed tilt of the Earth's axis, 66.6 degrees. The supposed speed of Earth's rotation at the equator, 1037 miles per hour. 1 plus 37 equals 38, and 3 plus 8 equals 11, 11 x 6 equals 66. Are you seeing the pattern? Interestingly, even in mainstream media, we sometimes see glimpses of truth breaking through. In an episode of Young Sheldon, Season 3, Episode 2, we witness a powerful moment where science and faith intersect. Sheldon's mother is struggling with her faith, crying and feeling lost. In a surprising turn of events, it's young Sheldon who offers comfort. He shares facts about gravity and the precise conditions necessary for life on Earth. He points out that if the moon were just a little bit closer or farther away, life as we know it wouldn't be possible. When his mother asks what he's trying to say, Sheldon admits that the mathematical odds of these conditions occurring randomly are astronomical, pointing to the likelihood of intelligent design and the existence of God. This touching scene reminds us that even in a world that often dismisses faith, the complexity and precision of our universe can lead even the most scientific minds to consider the possibility of a divine creator. Now, let's be clear about something crucial. When we talk about Lucifer and his influence, we're not talking about some far-off threat. As it says in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers. Lucifer, my friends, rules this earth. But remember, his power is limited and temporary. We see evidence of Lucifer's earthly dominion in a pivotal moment during Yahusha's temptation. In Luke 4, 5-7, we read, The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor, it has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Notice that Yahusha doesn't dispute Lucifer's claim to authority over the world's kingdoms. He doesn't say, that's not yours to offer. This silence speaks volumes about Lucifer's current dominion over earthly systems and powers. Here's another bombshell for you, there are no aliens. What some people mistake for extraterrestrial encounters are actually interactions with demons. These aren't benevolent beings from other planets, they're fallen angels, part of the great deception. As Ephesians 6.12 reminds us, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers. Against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The Book of Enoch, though not in our canonical Bible, offers some fascinating insights that align with this worldview. Enoch 7, 1-2 speaks of fallen angels who came to earth and took human wives. Could this be connected to modern-day, alien abduction, stories? Now, let's circle back to NASA and its symbolism. Their logo, with its red forked swoosh, bears an eerie resemblance to a serpent's tongue. Remember who appeared as a serpent in the Garden of Eden. And the name, NASA, in Hebrew gematria equals 365, the number of years Enoch walked with Yahweh before he was taken, as stated in Genesis 5:23-24. What we're dealing with here is a cosmic scale deception. The powers that be want us to believe were insignificant specks on a random rock hurling through an infinite void. 
but our scriptures tell us we're at the center of Yahweh's creation, under his watchful eye and loving care. Speaking of misconceptions, let's talk about how easily false information spreads in our culture. Take, for instance, a curious moment in the song We Are The World, a song co-written by Michael Jackson. There's a line where Jackson says, remember when you turned the stones to bread. But here's the thing, this isn't a biblical reference. In fact, Yahusha refused to turn stones into bread during his temptation in the wilderness. In Matthew 4, 3-4, the tempter says, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Yahusha responds by quoting scripture, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of Yahuwah. The message here is clear, Yahusha rejected the devil's offer to use his power for personal gain. Jackson's lyric seems to echo this, but in a way that subtly distorts the true meaning, blending the temptation with a mistaken portrayal of what actually happened. As we wrap up this mind-bending episode, I want to thank each of you for tuning in. Your curiosity and openness to challenging ideas make this show possible. If you're intrigued by what you've heard today and want to experience more thought-provoking content, head over to www.quavertv.weebly.com. There, you'll find a diverse array of work, music, visuals, and various series that explore fascinating concepts. Take some time to shop around, listen, and immerse yourself in the content. Remember, in a world where truth is often obscure, it's up to each of us to seek it out. So until next time, try to enjoy the daylight, keep questioning everything, and may you find the answers you're searching for. This is Quaver TV, signing off.